Hello everyone and welcome back to the fifth part uh, tutorial on this series of how to model this speaker book. So um, let me first open the file and meanwhile I will uh, tell you what we are going to do. So um, uh, I thought that after we've done with the book and the logo itself, um, there are a few, cur a few things that um, I noticed like I'm missing some line here at the texture down here and probably a few, uh, few other uh, elements to the de texture but uh, at the overall it still looks good we just need to add some three different colors to our speaker so um, let's start by doing this um, let's right click and the first color I want to add to this, uh, it will be a simple uh, bling, okay? But we will need to uh, get rid of uh, maybe most of the reflections here because uh, this is too much. So let's go over the this bling, change it to white, okay? Or you can do something like very yellowish kind of look okay like this and then go over the reflectivity of this bling which is here and drop down the reflectivity somewhere there now I will try to render this just to see how it looks so let's take snapshot of it Okay, the overall um, look of it, it looks great, so um, the, the problem here with this um, book is mainly um, the transparent thing we had to it, I'm not sure why it didn't remove, so let me first stop the surrender job and take a look at the book bling, which is our texture uh, it's better to give it a name so you will find it yeah it's still in transparent and I'm not sure why so um, still we have a lot of reflections so maybe drop everything down and change the specular roll-off also just bring it to down so it won't look very reflective um, also um, I suggest to take the bling of this uh, book, which is the texture, and also do the same for uh, for it on the aspect of the reflectivity, because it's too much reflective, and we don't need it. So let's drop down also the specular roll-off of this bling, and <coughs> also at the same time we will choose face, okay? And I want to choose only uh, these uh, inner uh, faces here, okay? But I will have to start from this one, okay? This one, no, sorry, okay? It's going to be other than I thought. This line, and then remove this cube, okay? The, select this one, and select the one near to the one that I removed so this one sorry this one will be removed this one twice and then this one remove this one double click on this one bring it back and then this one double click on this one and this one and then these and I also want these but I'm not sure why it, they are refusing to be selected so um, maybe I will have to do this manually um, that's not too bad you know uh, Usually I would prefer like to, before I will um, 
give it a color um, just to uh, extract it okay but it really it really makes your life uh, easier your work easier that way uh, by extracting this you will get to uh, easily put other um, shaders on it as you like without starting to choose it um, every time so uh, it's better to just extract it okay uh, go over mesh by the way make sure when you extract that it's always on keep faces together uh, that you have a V sign here okay so mesh extract and this will extract this uh, part of the speaker so now we can always click on it and just choose a color for it so sign new material bling uh, you know what not bling I will undo this sign new material here assign new material you'll get to see this so choose materials material Maya material X okay under mental ray you get to see materials and then you will get to see Maya material X okay click on this you will get to see this box now change to this tab and click on preset okay and then choose rubber so click on it and choose replace this will replace your um, the preset to rubber and which will probably fit uh, our needs okay also um, probably asking now why the hell did we patched all those pieces together um, well I think that most of it is because you need to practice on a few things in order to understand how things works and you could easily create a texture for this uh, just by um, using um, Photoshop but because it's only a speaker and it doesn't have to do much with texturizing uh, we are using RGB texture and that's it so that's this is it for it and let's see how we are now dealing with this part um, there is a brush tool okay and with the brush tool you can um, also select things which it's very convenient because you don't need to it's like you're painting them now sometimes the brush size is too much like now okay so click twice and just reduce uh, or using the tools or using this uh, scale things um, to choose these faces great now it looks like most of it was selected so let's assign new material which will be another bling and this time it will be black all the way black okay now um, the last thing is to choose what color will be the frame of it which this part it's quite easy so let's select ease frame part and right click choose assign um, assign new material maybe um, yeah you can make it uh, silver so let's choose material Maya material X and this time instead of rubber we will choose satined metal okay and this is mental ray um, shaders so both of them the rubber thing here and this so I'm not sure if uh, we will get to see them correctly as they should uh, be seen okay so let's try render this just to see the overall yeah that that's okay except that we are not in mental ray so that's giving us a little bit hard time you see it's only five seconds to render this in Maya software and you can see that it doesn't look that good but hey 
this is the Maya software. We are dealing with, we need to deal with mental ray in order to uh, get appropriate uh, light setup. And so the shaders will look also good. So let's try with mental ray. By the way, um, if you are um, familiar with HDR, um, kind of, uh, uh, you know, like HDR, Mm, HDR ma HDRI map yeah um what you need to do is uh, to download the file which is an extension is uh, HDRI okay so you need to click on create yes here at the render setting under mental ray indirect lighting create under this image based lighting so this image based lighting will create this wonderful globe around um, our object or around our grid and it also will open this uh, attribute editor uh, box and where it says image name you need to load an HDR IMAP uh, file so uh, I have a few of those uh, what uh, HDR IMAP is actually is a photo of a crumble with all the reflections that appears on it okay so um, golden collections no apps um, yeah apps and for Maya and high resolution HDR IM map so this is what it is uh, it's like the menu for those files and you can see each of them how it looks like and then you can choose like if this is one or two or three or four so let's let's use something with a little bit green uh, kind of color so it will be this 21 so I need to choose uh, file 21 which is this one you can see the extension is HDR and click open so it will be applied to this wonderful globe we created so um, I want to create only a plane so we won't have any um, you know blank back um, ground and let's try render this now By the way, um, while it's rendering, and you can see it looks um, far more beautiful than the last render, um, I think that at the second part or the third part where I started to set up mental ray and then I was like, uh, uh, felt that it's too much uh, to deal with at the same time so I uh, switched back to Maya software so m just make sure that everything I've done in the this uh, tutorial uh, third tutorial uh, by setting the mental ray uh, software okay uh, is applied to your mental ray setting okay so just make sure it's happening so then you will get the same result as here you just need to uh, add this uh, HDR IMAP uh, kind of look okay so this took one minute to create and it looks even better than what I have did uh, at my uh, first uh, trying of modeling this so there is only maybe a few things that I will change in this um, particular speaker because somehow it doesn't look that good but the basic idea I think that you already got it and I will put a link for HDR IMAPS files so you can um, download them from whatever website they are okay um, also there, there is uh, one or two tutorials talking about this so um, you can download uh, uh, you can learn this HDRI map uh, tutorial and understand what this is all about and 
hopefully you will get the same results. So again, don't forget to watch uh, turn part number three, just to set up mental ray. You see, this is mental ray, and this is my software. So it's not the same. This is mental ray, and just make sure that you get to uh, applied every setting that I used in the third um, part to this uh, mental ray settings. And that's it, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you had fun with it. Um, if you have any question, which I'm sure this time you will, because uh, uh, we we did a lot in this part, so uh, of like all this series of how to model this book. So um, don't be shy. Leave a message, uh, even my. Uh, inbox and I will try to respond to you as soon as I can. So have fun and see you later with new tutorials to come. So that's it. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye.